All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be preparing one of the freeze-dried homemade entrees I made. So if you're watching this for the first time and you didn't see my previous video, about two videos, three videos back, I put together some uh, freeze-dried entrees. I have the other one here. This is more of a dinner entree, steak and mashed potatoes and uh, vegetables. But since it's morning here, when I'm filming the video, I'm going to have the breakfast. And I wanted to show you how simple they were to prepare. They are a little more labor intensive than say, you know, your average mountain house freeze-dried entree where you just pour the hot water in and let it sit for 15 minutes. Each item needs to be rehydrated but it's extremely simple and the cost savings on it is incredible. So if you do a lot of backpacking or a lot of hiking, or if you want to set up your bug out bag with some uh, freeze dried entrees type stuff and you want to do it cheap, you can do it that way. Um, I use my Thrive Life food. And if you are interested in getting some Thrive Life food, I do have a link down below in the description. It's like the third link down. So you may have to click see more to, to see it, but you can use any freeze dried food. Heck, you can even combine um, entrees you like freeze-dried entrees, you know, from Mountain House. If you like two entrees together, you can put them together in one pack. You know, put, let's say, your chicken and noodles here and your other breakfast thing there, and you can do it all in one pack and seal it up like this. So it's fairly simple, and the freeze-dryer that I got was a rather inexpensive one. You know, it didn't cost a lot of money. I bought it secondhand, but you could even, even new ones you can get for under $100. Not the freeze-dryer, I'm sorry, the vacuum sealer. So they're fairly simple to do. But the first thing we're gonna rehydrate, of course, will be the sausage crumbles. So let me get this all set up and we'll get our Hike Valley camp stove because as I said, Savage Survival wanted to see if that would fit with the Stanley Cook and Prep set and it does quite well actually. So we're gonna set that up and I'm gonna show you how this Stanley Cook set here, this little cook set, will be able to do this whole entree, super simple. Quick note on the side here, I did seal up some butter we're not going to be using this. This is powdered butter. We're not going to be using this for this particular meal, but it just goes to show you if you want to. You can dump some, like a tablespoonful of water in there. Um, and again, I'm eyeballing all of this stuff. There are no exact measurements. I put in about how much powder eggs I want, and I'm going to eyeball it, make it egg consistency, you know, scrambled egg consistency, like runny water. So, again, that's the powdered butter. We're not going to be using that today. I just wanted to show you how you can seal up individual things. And this is salt and pepper. Now, you can put any spice you want for any of your meals. Even if you don't want to do this, you can put spices together for any of your meals in a little spice pack and have it handy. You can do them individually. As you can see, I sealed this one up twice just to make sure it was well sealed, but uh, they are nice and vacuum sealed up. So we're gonna be using this one today because I want a little salt and pepper in that. So let me get everything set up and we're gonna hydrate that first. And again, it's eyeball only. I'm just gonna cover these with some water, boil the water, I'm gonna boil the water first, cover them up with water and let them sit for five minutes or so. All right, so I moved you off to the side here so I can work in this area. I'm gonna open up just this section. You can open up the whole thing now. You're not gonna be doing anything different. I'm just gonna show you. You can just open up that one section there. And I'm not gonna mess with it yet. We're just gonna put it to the side. And I'm gonna do a cup of water in here. Again, the directions for the Thrive Life stuff are on each individual can. Got about a little under a cup of water in there. Um, the directions are on each individual can. You don't have to do down to the, the ounce of water or whatever. You can just, uh, you can just kind of eyeball this stuff. So we're gonna boil this first, then I'm gonna stick my stuff in it and rehydrate it, and I'll probably just put it in one of these little cups, let it sit there, and then we're gonna do the uh, rehydrate the cheese and the eggs next. So let's get the stove up and running. There we go. And there it is. Let me back you out. Fits perfectly. Nice and sturdy too, it's not going anywhere. So once that's boiling, I'll bring you back. While we're waiting for that water to boil, I do want to mention how to rehydrate the Thrive Life cheese. I have not used any other freeze-dried freeze cheese in my life. So I don't know how to rehydrate the other stuff, but I do know how this works. Basically, you're gonna dump some water in there, very, very little, and you're just gonna let it sit in there and rehydrate. So I'm gonna take the egg powder out of this one and dump it in another container, just to get it out of the way. Put that in there, there you go. Okay, and now I'm going to open up the top here 
and just dump in very, very little, like a, I don't know, less than, uh, about a tablespoon, let's say. Well, we got boiling water up there. Turn that off. Wrong way. All right, so that's boiling. I'm going to dump that as it sputters in here and let that hydrate. Put this back up here. Now I'm going to show you how much water to do for the cheese. Okay. Now the cheese is kind of tricky. I would say right there, that's good. It doesn't look like I put any in. I'll put a little bit more in. There. Now what you're going to do with that, kind of just let that sit. And I would say let it sit for about five minutes. Probably going to be about the same time as your, as your uh, meat over here. So we're going to let that sit, and that's why I took the other stuff out, so it can just sit up right back in the corner and rehydrate. The eggs are next, so we're going to rehydrate them. And really, that's just an eyeball thing. Put a little water in. Mix it up. It looks like I nailed it. <laughs> I've been doing this a while. Get it the consistency of scrambled eggs. Actually, it's a little thick, because i got some off the side. See, it's a little thick. A little tiny bit more water. Remember to always add less. You can't take water out, but you can always add more. So add a little less than you think you need. You remember, you want the eggs to be kind of, just imagine, you know, you cracked a couple eggs in a pan. What do they look like? Cracked eggs and scrambled them up, I mean. So there you go. That's about the right consistency of scrambled eggs. So I'm going to let all this rehydrate. Give me about five minutes and uh, bring you back and um, we'll cook it all. All right, so I waited about 10 minutes. That's still uh, nice and warm. I had it covered with the little cover, but it is fully hydrated. Now, if you notice, there's a little extra water in here. And again, I just said I'm eyeballing it. That was probably way too much water for the amount of stuff I had in there. So what you'll do is just drain off the water. Really not a big deal. I had people asking me for, you know, measurements and how many cups and I'm like guys I'm just eyeballing this we're not doing anything precise here because we're just making a little freeze-dried camp meal okay first thing I'm gonna put in here and I'm gonna put it on low and where did I put my lighter there it is it is this stuff because I want to brown up the, um, the sausage crumbles let's kick it on light now, here's the cool part about this stove. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but look how low you can get that. Yeah, you can barely see the blue flames on it. So, we're gonna dump that in there, and we're gonna heat that up. Here it's starting to, starting to brown up in here. It may seem a little unusual to cook scrambled eggs in this, but um, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work. And the system itself with the cups gives you places to hydrate stuff and to put stuff ready for use. So it's kind of convenient. All right. Starting to brown up nicely. So now I'm going to dump the eggs in. There go the eggs. I'm going to just let that sit while I get the cheese ready. And the cheese is all hydrated. I'll give you a look at that. Yep. All soft. Let's get this cup out of the way. Turn it up a little bit. It's a little low. And I'll bring you back once the eggs are done, and we'll uh, dump the cheese on them. And I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, turned it off. There's everything so far. Let's dump the cheese in so it melts. I'm going to cover it up. There we go. That's good enough. That was a lot of cheese. <laughs> That's more than enough. And it will just melt in there naturally. And you can salt and pepper to taste. I have cut this open, so I can do a little, a little salt and pepper. 
There we go. No, I actually did get pepper. I thought I only got salt out of that. There we go. All right. I'm going to put it in this cup here. Get everything out of the way for you. So you can see what it looks like. Now, I know some of you are going to look at this portion and think, oh my God, I could never eat all that. And some of you are going to look at it and go, what, are you kidding me? That's a nice snack. <laughs> That's the cool thing about these uh, making your own freeze-dried entrees is they are scalable. You can bring them up or down, as big or as small as you want. Now, let's try it out. Mmm. That is good. Let me finish chewing here. But there you go. A quick little meal. And I, like I said, you can make them bigger or smaller, any way you want. And that is the Thrive stuff, just so you know. That's what it looks like. The powdered eggs, sausage crumbles, and cheese. A real simple breakfast that you can put together for pennies if you already have the freeze-dried food. And it's really, really convenient and easy to do. And as a side note, yes, your little uh, Stanley cook set fits perfectly on that little Hike Valley stove. So, I mean, you can even toss that in there with that, with the cups, and you've got a cook set. But um, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing some more of these um, homemade freeze-dried entrees and put them together in, you know, packages like this. Something I did notice is that this was sealed by the factory. This is the bottom of the bag. These come in bags. There was a little bit of leakage when I put water in here. Nothing horrible, one or two drops. So that's something to consider if you are going to be rehydrating in the pouches. But it wasn't anything major. It was like one or two drops that I wiped up. And it's possible that it spilled over from the side, but I don't think so. But anyway, if you guys have any ideas for uh, putting together some freeze-dried stuff, I do have an order I can put in. I have some uh, free, stuff, free stuff from, free, from Thrive. Um, and that is one of the benefits when you become a distributor. When people buy from you, you get some free product to order. So I want to put together some more of these types of meals. Um, and as I said, we're going to try this one eventually too. That's your steak, cube steak and uh, vegetables. i got peas and carrots in there and some mashed potatoes. We're going to try this too eventually. But I want to put together some of these, give you guys some ideas of what you can do with uh, freeze-dried food. as uh, just Not just storage. You, know, you can actually use it. Use it for your bug-out bags. Use it for your prep items. But anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out our um, Amazon link down below. It really helps support the channel. Um, you guys can click on there. Pretty much everything I review is in the store. And again, I don't know why this is out of stock, but I'm sure it will be back in stock. That's the little Hike Valley Camp Stove. I have emailed them. I haven't heard back yet, but it's only Monday, so we'll see. And uh, if you don't want anything in the store, just click the link and shop as you like uh, normally on Amazon really does help us out. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. Um, if you want to order some of this food that we've been using here, you can order it from there. And it is really good quality food. I mean, when I tell you the eggs look and taste like eggs, they really do, you know? There are no preservatives or junk in this stuff for the most part. A lot of it is um, gluten-free. A lot of it is non-GMO. Almost all of it's non-GMO. It's pretty good stuff. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.